Welcome to Washington, D.C. Today we're gonna to check out some of my favorite restaurants from really great Italian, great burgers, great barbecue, and a little bit of New Orleans in D.C. Let's go. We're here at Dolphins. This restaurant, when you walk in, feels like you're in the French Quarter. They have some great gumbo, so let's go check it out. This is a gumbo yaya. It was developed by Paul Prudhomme, probably one of the biggest names in uh, Creole and Cajun cooking. The roux is absolutely the most important part of this. The roux is really like the soul of the gumbo. It is. Here at Dolphins, they toast the flour for the roux. This is saving them about 30 minutes in comparison to one hour. This is such a great idea. For me, it's really hard to find great gumbo in DC because just where we're located, but at Dolphins, what they're doing here is like they're putting time and care into making this gumbo. Whenever anyone comes into this restaurant who's never been here, it's one of those dishes I, I insist that they, yeah. they taste. Look how delicious that looks. You can smell the chicken, the tasso ham. You can see like the delicious potato salad. It's important to try to get a little bit of everything in there. So good. The potato salad really makes the difference. It, the contrast between hot and cold, it's really, really good. Like, I wish you could taste this. Now we're at Caruso's, serving up amazing Italian-American food. And we're gonna check out one of my favorite dishes in the entire city. Spicy Neapolitan ragu with fresh bucatini pasta. It's an absolute stunner. Let's go. So what makes this pasta so special is they make it fresh every day in house. Another really great component of this dish is the sauce. This ragu is simmered for 12 hours with pork, pancetta, San Marmizano tomatoes, basil, garlic. You also have that really great ricotta on top just to kind of cut through it and adds another level of richness. It's great. Look how beautiful this pasta looks. Ooh, look at that. So good. It's just an amazing pasta dish. Like when you want pasta in DC, this is where you want to go. We're here at Texas 250 Barbecue, one of my favorite places to get barbecue in DC. It's Market Style Barbecue. They have barbecue pits running 24 7. Let's go check it out. Hey, Chef, how are you? Welcome. How awesome. Are you? Excited. Ready to have some great barbecue. So, this is our Wagyu brisket. Wagyu brisket usually takes 12 to 14 hours. These are our spare ribs. It's more juicy, more texture to it. This is all our beef rib. It's like Christmas. This is getting better and better. <laughs> this is pure joy right here. Look how good this looks. Texas 250 does barbecue like no other place in DC. Great barbecue, great size. All right, let's try some of this brisket. It's really like melts in your mouth. It's amazing. You have to come here hungry with the appetite and ready to go. I haven't even gotten to the sides. They're not messing around. I'm gonna get a to-go box because next up we're going to Hilly's where they have some of the best burgers in DC. Let's go. Next, we're at Hilly's Burger. Hilly's Burger is a local burger shop serving up some delicious smoked patties that are smashed. Really, really delicious. Let's go check it out. So what's one of the keys to a good smash burger? I'd say the most important thing is getting the good crust on it. And that's the thing is we use a super fatty blend so that we can get a good crust on it. So why do you smoke the beef? Give it a little flavor. We cold smoke it. We don't let it come up to temperature. We put an ice tray in there so that the fire doesn't actually Start get. cooking the beef. Yeah, it gives it a nice, uh, a nice balance, if you will. Nice. And that's our Dodge City. So we're talking about a smash burger. This is exactly what you want. Look at that. Mm. That smoked beef patty makes a difference. This is why this is one of the best burgers in DC. Lastly, we were heading to Anju to try some food at my restaurant. Anju is a modern Korean restaurant that does food from the 16th century, all leading up to the modern day Korean food. It feels like you're walking into a dinner party, I always tell people, because Anju is a very small and intimate restaurant. So let's go check it out. We're at the Anju kitchen and I'm here with Chef James Park. Hello. And we're gonna cook our sing sum. Before I started even working <laughs> at Andre, I would come in here. So this is one of the dishes that I would always love to eat. This dish is so popular, we actually got to be able to cook it for the president of Korea. We took this dish off our menu, and it was such a big deal. We had people like complain, they're like, when are you gonna put it back on, put it back on, put it back on. So this is now a stationary dish at Anju. We Can't can never take this off. So you have a crispy piece of fish, you have a really rich umami sauce on the bottom, and then you have this herb salad that adds a little bit of lightness to it. Still one of my favorites, I think. Yeah, it's great. Right? Come visit us soon. We hope to see you in DC at Anju. Come try some Seng Sung Gui. I'll be here. Chef James will be here. We'd love to see you. Love to feed you guys. Cheers. <laughs>